So we're here with um, Kid Galahad, post um, boxing sports on Saturday. Um, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. He had an impressive win, but you weren't meant to fight this guy, was you? Yeah, you know, I was supposed to fight Joshua Biku. He pulled out when I got to the venue. He said he had a stomach bug, but it's where it is. True champion can adapt to anybody. And then um, went in there and adapted to the kid who obviously I boxed on side Dave, don't know his name. They got the win. Uh, was you, um, what was it on Saturday? Was it an eliminator for the IBF or WBC? No, it, was, it was supposed to be eliminated for the IBF, but obviously the kid pulled out and they couldn't make it for that one. The, the kid who I boxed it was just last minute, you know, he's not he's not up there, is he? He's just like a... So does that mean you're gonna? it's going to be rescheduled? Yeah, hopefully it's going to be rescheduled, you know. They're saying, um, hopefully i find out in the next couple of weeks what, what's going to happen. All right, dude. so it's, um, it's a bit obvious as well that um, Lee Selby's on the radar for the IBF title. How do you think you're going to deal with his style, Selby's um, style? You know, Lee Selby's probably the best featherweight out there at the minute. You know, in my opinion, um, he's the number one featherweight. He's boxed very, some very good kids in his running style. And um, it's going to be a hard night, but I think um, I've got the style and I, could adapt, I can adapt to, to him and beat him, get him out of there. Oh, well, your stable mate Adam Etches lost over the weekend to John Ryder. Yeah. Um, how do you assess his performance at Super Middleweight? Do you think he um, think he did all right? Or? Yeah, I thought he did well. You know, I think you know it was a it was a fifty fifty fight from the beginning. You know, he did well. John Ryder just nicked it. You know, he, he, he was catching Adam with the king of shots. Adam actually was throwing a lot more, but he was catching Adam with the eye catching shots. And uh, hopefully they can get it back on at middleweight. Do you think he should uh, go back to middleweight or stay at super middleweight? Uh, I think both of them should get back down to middleweight and you know rearrange the fight and see where it goes from there. What do you think of the show overall at the weekend? Oh, I thought the show was fantastic. I thought the Eubank, Eubanks, the whole on um, the whole razzmatazz and the show was fantastic. I thought he boxed very well. It was entertaining. You know, for, for whatever, I think was it a tenor or something like that, yeah, you yeah. can't, can't complain, you yeah. can't complain, you know, <laughs> people have paid 20 odd quid for a worse pay-per-view than that, you know, um, that kid who we boxed, coming, was a tough kid, he come to fight, it was a very entertaining fight, he was there till the end, and um, what a fight. Any of the other fights on the night, on Saturday? Um, I watched the Pricey fight, that was, a, that was a good, I thought it was a good fight, you know. I fought until he got caught, you know, I f it looked like he gassed a bit in the third or fourth round. I don't know, it could have been nerves or, you know what I mean, but um, I thought he, he, did, he was doing very well and then all of a sudden, you know, but that's how way boxing for you, one shot can change the whole, you know. I thought he should have, when he did have that guy down, when he had Christian Hammer down, I thought he should have finished him, but obviously that... Oh, that killer kind of instinct weren't there, was it? Yeah, you, but do you know what, that's how it goes, boxing for you, one punch can change everything, can't it? And, um, you know, he'll Sorry. come back. I think he can come back, you know, stronger. So, you know, you, he's um, been in this position before and he's come back. So how do you assess um, Eubank's performance, Eubank Jr's performance? I thought it was unbelievable. I thought, um, I expected, Eubank's is a very entertaining fighter. He's probably one of the most entertaining fighters out there in a the minute. You know, he throws punches and punches, punch, uh, punches and bunches. Um, He's explosive. He can bang. He can box. He can. He can do everything basically. And overall, he's an entertainer. He's a natural born entertainer. Him and his dad. I think his dad's doing a fantastic job on him, looking after him, and moving him in the right direction. Yeah, Quinlan thought the fight shouldn't have been stopped, but do you think that was the right decision by um, the referee? Yeah, he was. He was back. It, what was he on? He wasn't winning any round on the scorecards. He was getting beat up, and it looked like he didn't get seriously hurt. You know, he, he was taking shots for fun. And uh, I think them shots just eventually just were zapping him, taking everything out of him. And it was just a matter of time before he was going to get seriously hurt by Eubanks. Yeah, yeah, and your other stable mate as well, um, Kel Brook as well, we're trying to work out who he's going to be fighting. But out of the list of names that have been said, who, you, who, you, who would you be most interested to see? Uh, the Khan or Spence? I'd prefer him to fight Khan, you know, because um, I think he'd, he'd take Khan out in probably six rounds, and it's the biggest fight in the UK. Everybody wants to see it. Khan's been talking a lot, and uh, that's what I personally. But I think even if he back, even if he fights Errol Spencer, I think he'll beat Errol Spencer too. You know, 
people are saying, oh, this, that, but Kel's, Kel's been there, he's done that, he's at a different level, you know what I mean? Anybody where Earl Spencer's boxed, Kel would have done the same, exact same thing, do you know what I mean? How would Earl Spencer get on with uh, Sean Porter or Golovkin? You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to think about things like that.